Congratulations pour in for Dr. Carla Barnett following her selection as the next Secretary General of the Caribbean Community. CARICOM and Azerbaijan formalize diplomatic relations. And the CARICOM Secretariat launches remote learning initiative on regional integration and the CSME. Thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of the CARICOM News Time. I'm Tusankin English Francis with the details. Congratulations continue to flow following the selection of Dr. Carla Barnett as the next Secretary General of the Caribbean Community. Dr. Barnett, a national of Belize, assumes office on the 15th of August. She succeeds Ambassador Erwin LaRocque, whose tenure ends on that date. CARICOM heads of government, including Prime Minister Andrew Holness of Jamaica and Prime Minister Mia Motley of Barbados, issued statements of congratulations. Third states, ministers of government, regional and international organizations have also used social media to congratulate Dr. Barnett. Ambassador Erwin LaRocque posted his congratulations on the CARICOM Secretariat's Twitter account. Jamaica's Foreign Minister, Senator the Honorable Kamina Johnson-Smith, tweeted that Jamaica endorsed the historic appointment of the first ever female Secretary General of CARICOM, noting it is a positive signal to the region and internationally. Messages from CARDI, FAO in the Caribbean, former Assistant Secretary General Dr. Edward Green, UNDP Country Office in Jamaica, the governments of Canada and Mexico were among the torrents of tweets congratulating Dr. Barnett. The next CARICOM Secretary General is an economist. She served in her country in many senior capacities, including as Vice President in the Belize Senate. She also served as Financial Secretary of Belize and Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Belize. Regionally, she served as Vice President Operations of the Caribbean Development Bank. She was also Deputy Secretary General of CARICOM from 1997 to 2002. Dr. Barnett attained her PhD in Social Sciences from the University of the West Indies Mono Campus in Jamaica. She also holds a Master of Science degree in Economics from the University of Western Ontario in Canada and a Bachelor's of Science degree in Economics from the University of the West Indies. In its congratulatory message, the UWI conveyed its pride that another member of its alumni has ascended to one of the highest offices in the region. Dr. Barnett is the third UWI alum to assume the role of CARICOM Secretary General following Ambassador Edwin Carrington and Ambassador Roderick Rainford. Dr. Barnett highlighted public information and communication, as well as tackling implementation among her priorities when she assumes office. As the Caribbean community extends its diplomatic outreach, it accredited the first ambassador of the Republic of Azerbaijan to CARICOM. On May 12th, in a virtual ceremony, CARICOM Secretary General Ambassador Erwin LaRocque accepted the letters of credence of His Excellency Elkan Polohov, first envoy of Azerbaijan to CARICOM. He said the appointment is an affirmation of Azerbaijan's growing interest in formalizing relations with CARICOM and a meaningful step towards greater understanding and cooperation between member states of CARICOM and Azerbaijan. It is also the result of engagements between representatives of both sides over the years. These engagements have taken place intermittently in the margins of the United Nations General Assembly in New York and date back to 2011. During one such meeting, Azerbaijan proposed a memorandum of understanding which has been under review by our member states. It is my hope that during your tenure, Ambassador, this MOU can be advanced as some of the areas proposed for cooperation are of importance to the community. The community strongly believes that vulnerability must be a primary factor in determining access to concessional financing. We hope that Azerbaijan will be a partner in supporting the development of a universal vulnerability index which would replace GDP per capita as a major criterion for access to concessional financing. 
Ambassador Paula Hall said it was an honor to be accredited as the first envoy of Azerbaijan to CARICOM. He said he will devote his efforts to building and strengthening relations between his country and the CARICOM. CARICOM is an important regional platform to promote democracy, strengthen regional security, and foster sustainable development in Caribbean region. And Azerbaijan pays special importance to the relations with it. Azerbaijan is a constant supporter of regional cooperation and keenly interested in strengthening good relations and stability in the Caribbean region and entire world in creating favorable conditions for the growth of economic and trade, cultural and educational ties. As a part of this initiative, Azerbaijan provides educational scholarship to the non-aligned uh, member states. And we believe that via cooperation with CARICOM, these opportunities can be utilized even more effectively. High school students from Belize and Guyana have participated in the first leg of a merged online class on regional integration and the CARICOM single market and economy. Sessions held recently saw teachers from Guyana teaching students from the Ladyville Technical High School and the Sacred Heart College in Belize, and teachers from Belize teaching students from Queen's College in Guyana. Speaking during the virtual launch of the initiative on May 10th, Dr. Laura Bristol, Program Manager for Human Resource Development at the CARICOM Secretariat, said that the objective of the initiative is to enhance the implementation of the CARICOM single market and economy by making the youth a key stakeholder more aware of the region and its possibilities. CARICOM Secretary General Ambassador Irwin LaRocque hailed the former Chief Minister of Anguilla, Hubert Hughes, as an outstanding regionalist. In a message of condolence following his passing on May 8th, Secretary General LaRocque extended condolences to Mr. Hughes' family, the government, and the people of Anguilla. He lauded Mr. Hughes for his devotion to improving the lives of the people of his island. The Secretary General recalled that he signed the agreement bringing Anguilla into CARICOM as an associate member in 1997. Mr. Hughes was Anguilla's head of government from 1994 to 2000 and from 2010 to 2015. He served as a member of the House of Assembly for 39 years. The Secretary General also paid tribute to the late Franklin Kahn, Trinidad and Tobago's energy minister following his recent passing. In a message of condolence to Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Ambassador LaRocque recalled his interactions with Minister Khan when he visited the CARICOM Secretariat. The CARICOM Secretary General remembered Minister Khan's unfailing good nature, humility and affability. For more stories, you can visit the CARICOM news site at today.caricom.org or the CARICOM website at caricom.org. Like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Be safe and see you next time.